ceramic, there are several techniques that are used to build up forms. The thumb and pinch technique is a simple technique that mainly uses fingers in building up a clay form by pressing the thumb into the center and repeatedly pinching to create the desired size and shape. In coil technique, rolls of clay are coiled on top of each other to create a form. The rolls are scratched and slip, which is liquid clay, is applied and then they are joined together. In slab technique, articles are built from slabs. The edges of slabs are scratched and slip liquid clay is applied, then the slabs are joined together. Throwing is where a tool called a potter's wheel is used and there are three main steps in throwing. And the first is called centering. This is where the clay is thrown to the center of the potter's wheel. Pulling up is the other step where the clay form is pulled upwards. And then hollowing, which is where the thumb is used to create a hole at the center, is the other step. Shaping up is the fourth and final step where the potter shapes the clay lamp into any required shape. When clay is wet, it is called green wear before it is fired. And there are three main stages of clay drying. There's a plastic state where the clay is still malleable. The leather hard state where the clay still has moisture in it and is not that easily malleable and it is perfect state for decoration. And then there's bone dry clay where the clay is completely dry and it has no moisture and cannot be manipulated into any form at that state. There are several techniques of decorating green ware. And the first is incising, which is making shallow cuts onto a ceramic piece. Excising or piercing is cutting out designs to create holes. Burnishing is the process of rubbing leather hard clay with a smooth object slowly and in a circular manner to achieve a polished glass effect. Slip trailing involves the application of clay slip, which is liquid clay of different colors, and it is applied using either rubber sucker or nozzles. Graffito is the use of white slip applied onto a ceramic form and then it is scratched away in patterns to reveal the clay color. And gobe is applying white slip onto a ceramic piece. Inlaying involves laying of clay of contrasting color into grooves on the ceramic piece. Impressing or stamping is pressing textured objects onto the clay piece. Embossing is a pressing of letters or shapes onto wet clay to form a bulge or protrusion. Embedding is fixing fired clay pellets onto wet clay. Where relief is where cut out shapes are attached onto a ceramic piece. B square is fired clay. Firing is a process of baking clay in an oven called a kiln to make them into permanent brittle substances. There are three main types of firing. Bisque firing is where greenware is fired. Glaze firing is where items that have applied glaze on top are fired. And decorative firing is where extra glaze is placed onto ceramics and it's fired for a high glossy finish. There are several types of kilns that are used in firing is a gas kiln, which is where items are placed onto open flames. Electric kilns, where items are placed in a kiln made of refractory bricks, which is fired or heated using electricity. Brick kilns, which are made using bricks and the items are placed inside and then exposed to heat. Open pit and bonfire have the same process where a pit is dug and then twigs and grass are laid and then the articles or ceramic pieces are laid on top of the twigs and grass. More twigs and grass are placed on top and then fire is lit. They are left for a few days before being unraveled. Pyrometric cones are the tools that are used to check temperatures inside a kiln. Glaze is a vitreous substance made of alumina, flax, and silica that is applied onto ceramics. Silica melts the glass to give it the glassy, vitreous, shiny effect. 
alumina helps glaze stick onto clay under high temperatures and flax helps melt the silica there are four types of glazes transparent glaze where the clay color underneath is visible glossy glaze this is highly shiny glaze matte glaze it does not shine as brightly and lastly we have opaque glaze which is colored glaze 